Hey, thanks for tuning in again, guys. This is Red Tail Ray. Um, I realized after kind of searching around um, that I posted a video in March of 2014, a long time ago, about this GT Cobra buckle, and I never did an update on how I made and constructed this uh, paracord dog collar for it. Um, so again, just to recap, if you didn't see that video from March of 2014 on the revealing or the unpackaging of the two buckles that I got that day, this is the Austra Alpen GT Cobra buckle. It has no metal parts. Um, uh, lots of different reasons behind that, but um, they're becoming more and more popular these days for a variety of reasons. One of them being especially because it doesn't have any metal parts. Um, so it's a little bit lighter weight than the full-size metal um, Cobra buckle. And now the uh, Raptor buckles that are coming out from uh, an American company called ADF is their competition. Um, they don't have a plastic option yet, um, but I have been seeing these coming out as a option um, to put four GT Cobra buckles on your plate carrier for a uh, quick release um, instead of um, the regular bungee and Velcro system that's very noisy. Um, so. They are getting more popular, starting to see some of that stuff out there, starting to see actually some companies now making uh, professional canine um, tactical dog collars with these and with the regular um, Cobra buckles. I, I had that idea, another one of those million dollar ideas I let slip through my fingers a few years ago. Um, but I did end up making this um, dog collar right after I, I made that video. I made it for the gentleman at the time who was an owner of a uh, dog washing place and that just never panned out. Um, originally was supposed to start teaching um, or doing teaching classes for him and his partner for his uh, dog washing and dog um, grooming company. I was going to um, teach uh, a monthly uh, make your own dog collar class with Paracord because Paracord was all the rage back then a few years ago. Um, and that just didn't pan out, and it's probably for the best that it didn't pan out. I don't think that would have been. Um, anyways, it doesn't matter. So I did make this paracord dog buckle about three years ago now. Um, we're getting pretty close to it. And um, never, you know, I packed it away. I, I made it, and I didn't have a dog that it fit. This is obviously um, weaved up, and there's no adjustability to it whatsoever. Because it's just uh, three chunks of paracord. So I did the regular Cobra Weave or the Basket Weave or whatever braid you want to call that. Uh, if you um, notice how big and how wide it is, I did have to do, instead of just the, the double Cobra knot, um, I did three individuals. So basically like everybody used to make their own uh, the bracelets and you know the survival bracelets and all that. So this is using uh, non-mil spec. This is the uh, standard, the colored options. Um, of the 550 cord, which isn't rated as high of a tensile strength, but it doesn't matter. This is just, you know, a super heavy duty dog collar anyways, but so this is three strands. Um, the blue, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, the blue has a reflective in it. You see some of those gray dots. Oh, it's really not coming up on camera, it doesn't look like, but anyways, it does have a nice reflectivity to it, so when you got a flash on or when you got a flashlight at night, it does shine actually quite bright. It's pretty nice. Um, I did find back then a solid D-ring that I was able to uh, weave in there as well. It took a little, um, a little creativity in how I was weaving that in there, but that's weaved into all three of the, um, all three of the strands or all three of the braids to make a very, very heavy duty um, dog collar. So I pulled this out because I was um, looking for it for a long time. Now actually we just moved last year and just recently in the last few months we got a new dog. His name's Copper. And I'll show you him in a minute and how this fits on him and how perfect it is. Uh, but Copper is a Husky and Huskies like to pull. And without the um, necessity of always having or always needing um, a full-on dog harness for walks or for whatever. Um, he's such a puller that I'm kind of worried sometimes, and I've been reading some things that um, they can hurt themselves by pulling too much on their leashes or collars or, you know, whatever. If they kind of get stuck or, or tripped up or the, you know, a cable or your stringer gets snagged, um, they can really 
uh, hurt their throats and hurt their necks with the really thin dog collars. So I pulled this out thinking that, hey, maybe I can you know just shorten it up a little bit and uh, see if it'll work for him because it's a nice wide dog collar. Um, it'll look really good on him too. He's a copper colored husky. He's not just the gray and the white um, or the black and the white kind of husky. Um, <clears throat> but I actually didn't need to do any adjustability whatsoever. It fits him perfect. It's nice and snug. Um, been using it for a while now. I actually just had it out at the dog park yesterday and the dog parks out here in the country are like 25 acres of fenced in paradise for dogs. Um, so it worked out really good. So I just wanted to cover that and show you guys quick just uh, how well that worked out with the GT Cobra buckle and you totally do this yourself guys. Just get one of these, you know, I believe if I remember right it was like nine or ten bucks for both pieces. Um, I ordered mine direct through Australia Alpen and it came in through Canada or whatever, but I, I think Millspec Monkey is carrying these and stocking these now. Um, and if you're still in a paracord, if you haven't lost the uh, the knack, you can uh, totally make one of these yourself. So um, just again, just a quick recap. This is three different strands or three different braids. Um, the outside colors are a goldenrod. The inside is a, like a sky blue with a reflective material on it and uh, a welded D-ring for not only the dog tags and identification, but that's where, you, where I would clip the, the leash. Um, and then the GT Cobra buckle is rated at, or you know, strength rated, target rated at about 500 pounds. So it's a really strong buckle, really heavy duty. Um, and I, if I remember right, they call this a, a stab style buckle. The, the idea is you just kind of stab it together. And if you haven't seen these yet, you guys got to check them out. It's really cool. So I'm gonna um, loop in a video of, of Copper, my puppy, wearing this collar and see what you guys think of it. But uh, just wanted to share this. I pulled this out a few weeks ago and I wanted to do this video for a while now because uh, I, I like the do-it-yourself stuff. I always have. That's what you know. This channel is based off of is finding not only new ways to do things and you know creative ways to get around things and you know getting into different things, but not just a gear review channel. But you could totally do this yourself. You can make your own dog collar. Um, for a lot less than like the $90 price tags of the tactical dog collars. And I think this is actually, you know, kind of nicer too that you made it yourself. You know, I made mine myself here and it's not, you know, um, super tactical looking. It's it's a little bit more decorative and it, it works really, really well. So I'll show you guys some uh, video here of the dog. And I might have the other dog out there watching, watching my dad's dog right now. I'll put this on him and show you guys what you think. And, um, Thanks for tuning in again. As always, like, subscribe, share, um, comment below if you got any questions on uh, anything that you saw or anything that I didn't cover or anything you guys want me to cover in future videos. Thanks again. I always appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.